Welcome to this video on stopping all of those meeting requests coming through in Microsoft Outlook. So there's a quick tip I'm going to share with you when you're creating a meeting, an invite, that you can select an option to stop people having to respond to your meetings. If it's a team meeting and you just want to drop it in people's calendars, if you block out your time for holidays or anything like that and put it in your manager's calendar, you don't want them to have to go in and respond every time. And sometimes they'll respond, sometimes they won't respond. Either way, you're probably going to get your calendar blocked up. You've got extra clicks for that person that you're sending them through. And there's a much more productive and easier way to do it. So if I start to create a meeting, and what you're going to see, I am in Outlook Online at the moment. It's very, very similar, but it looks slightly different if you're in Outlook, the Outlook application. But what you want to be looking for is the response options. And the response options are what are going to decide whether whoever you're sending this invite to has to reply. Now, remember, they can choose not to send you a reply, but they can accept decline or tentative, but a lot of people will just send you that. If you don't want them to have to do it, if you just want them to accept decline or tentative, but you're never going to get a response because it's not important, then this is really useful for you and it'll keep your mailbox nice and empty. So you can focus on the things that are really important. So at the moment, the default is request responses and allow forwarding. I'm just going to take off request responses. And what that will do then, when I send this across, I won't, the person who I'm sending it to will just accept decline or tentative. I'm not going to get any responses. I'm not going to get any emails back in my mailbox, no matter what they've selected. So this is really useful if you're creating lots of meetings and you're not that bothered who is going to attend specifically. Maybe it's a large team meeting and you don't want 400 responses back. So you're just going to use this to block that off and make sure everyone's got an invite. And if they don't attend, maybe you're going to record the meeting and share it afterwards. But from a productivity point of view, it's really just going to help your mailbox stay clean and focused. Just in the response options, you can also turn off forwarding if you don't want anyone to forward your meeting. If it's private and confidential or anything like that, you can turn that off as well. And you can also hide the attendee list again if it's private and confidential. So you can see those options are in there as well. But this one really focused around just removing all those replies you're going to get if it's not important and you don't need to know who's going to attend, but you just want to drop the block of time in everyone's diaries. So please do have a go at that one. Make it easier for you and your colleagues to manage their outlooks, their mailboxes and reduce any excess replies coming back. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.